All right, so today we're going to talk about uh, how to lower your ad cost on Facebook. So one of the things that um, the most important thing for Facebook for Facebook is the, a good user experience. So this is the most important thing for Facebook to have this, this good user experience. And that's number one. So uh, when Facebook looks at their priorities, the, the user comes first. And then our, as advertisers, we, we actually do come second. So it's a, uh, Facebook without the users, there's nobody to advertise to. And it's very important to Facebook that uh, it has, that the users have a good experience. So one of the things I like to call uh, the Facebook platform, I like to call it the Facebook AI, the Facebook artificial intelligence. It's like this, this uh, intelligence that wants to make sure that people that are on, that are using using Facebook they have a a good experience. So, so how do we lower our ad cost knowing this, knowing that the user experience is the most important thing? So, let's just look at some things right here. So, um wh where we start with creating that good experience is our advertisement. So, that's our ad copy, the creative, the video. So, I have a little mock up here of of an ad. So there's a couple things that as as Facebook marketers, Facebook advertisers, kind the kinds of things that we should be testing. So for example, this is a a link post and uh I typically write a fairly long ad copy uh highlighting the the benefits and about the product and making it so it's it's a compelling offer. So one of the things that it should be tested is the use of the more button. So if if you, uh, anyone here who's been who has written long ad copy knows that once you get past I think it's five lines, four lines, it it um uh it this little more that just typed out M O R E will show up in the ad text. And for for a potential customer uh, for a Facebook user, in order to see the rest of your long uh, ad copy, they have to click this more button. Now, what happens when they do that is that that's tracked as part of the metrics. So two things, that's like a piece of engagement. So I almost think it's more important. Uh, in, in my theory is, is someone clicking that more button is, in my opinion, perhaps more important than a like or or even a a comment because that's someone who's who sees the ad and they do something about it. Okay, so um, so when someone clicks that, they that gets registered and you can see that in your metrics. It's in the CTR all, all uh, column, uh, and that's distinguished from uh, link CTR, which is when when someone uh, hits it when it registers a link CTR that's when they leave Facebook and go to your store or to your website whatever somewhere outside of Facebook so it's important to test this out so what you can do in, in order to do this is the line that shows up more you make sure that there's some in that sentence that gets truncated create a little bit of curiosity in that. Um, so it kind of leave people hanging, so they want to click that more button. So what happens is, again, we're going always. It's what we're talking about here is user experience. So obviously, if someone is interacting with your ad, then they're interested. It's creating that. It's it. It's helping create that good user experience. So Facebook sees the um sees that happening and they facebook knows that okay oh look at this this ad people are clicking on this button a lot and they're reading the rest of the copy and people are spending time on the ad so that is um if someone's spending time looking at your ad then that's uh, is it really shows that your ad is providing that user experience because someone has stopped on that ad and actually reading it. So obviously when when you scroll through your newsfeed and you just quickly go through some things, those are not, at least for you, not creating that good user experience. But when Facebook 
Facebook wants to show things to people that they'll stop and look at and enhance their experience. So our job as marketers and in selling products or whatever we're promoting is to balance, you know, of course, we want to provide this good user experience, but we need to promote what we, uh, you know, the product that we're selling, for example. So we have to strike a balance between, uh, now I could put, I could put up a, uh, an ad really easily to, to get a lot of people to watch it, but it might not sell anything. So, but I, I need to balance that user experience with effectively showing the product that I'm trying to sell. So, I'll give you an example. So I, I've had um, uh, I, I've been showing people how to do Facebook ads uh, for many many years, and a couple things that I've noticed in in looking over metrics of ads. It, hey, you know, like I've seen this multiple times where someone gets a ten percent click through link click through rate, but they're not making any sales. Well, that's typically that that happens when uh, there's the user experience is is really good on the on the ad. However, you're not effectively promoting the product. So I would, although it would be, it's great to have a 10% link uh, uh, link click through rate. Um, if it's not making sales, well, then it's not an effective uh, promotion or, or or advertisement. I mean, I'd rather have a 2% link click through rate that makes lots of sales than a 10% click-through rate that makes nothing. So I've seen this happen um, when someone's, and they often have a, a, a really good looking video or a really good looking ad, but it doesn't quite communicate the offer correctly. So what ends up happening with these, where they get these high link click-through rates, once you move that balance of that user experience to, you know, you still have that good user experience, but you're gonna introduce more about the product, especially at the very beginning. It'll drop the link click-through rate, but then sales start coming through. It's actually, in most cases, it's fairly easy to fix. Um, when you you see a really high, that's actually a good sign. That means you're on the right track. It's just an, another uh, something to tweak. All right, so other things. So when I when I do it, I'm a um, almost 100% video ad. And so the, I always see that video, um, if I can spell, um, video ads work the best. Uh, so in a video ad, it's important, like just like with your ad copy, you need to start off with something strong, you know, a hook or something that will, that will make people intrigued with what you're promoting. Same thing inside a video that needs to be done in the first three to five seconds. You need to show something uh, to the audience that is compelling that will uh, make them stop and watch and click more and hopefully and, 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 and convince them to click through and buy the product. So um, the, um, creating the, this is why creating that good user experience. So now, in what I've in my experience, what I found is ads where it's just a lot of words like "Hey, look at this amazing, fun, wonderful thing." That is just not uh, uh, doesn't work effectively these days. But r really, writing copy that matches the target audience and is congruent with the product that's being sold. So it's not uh, a matter of doing just copy and paste, copy and paste. Ad copy, it's actually thinking about your audience and the product that you're promoting. Okay, so applying this all together, you know, we're going to have an effective ad copy, a really excellent video ad, and then we're, we're going to do the on a link, link post, and my light just changed. Anyway, so the results from this, if we do all this right, what will happen is we'll see lower CPM, so that is... That's a cost per thousand. So even when we do a an ad set and we have we run it for the purchase objective, although the objective is for is for purchases, 
we pay based on impressions. And when you apply a good user experience to your product sales, you'll see that your CPM will get lower. So that's basically your, this is how your cost is calculated. So if you can uh, do things with your ad to lower your CPM, your overall cost will go down. So this is, and then what should go up is your rel relevant score. So I'll just put RS. So what should go up is a relevance score. If you go in, you know, go down to the ad level into your metrics, you can see the the a relevance score. It's just a a metric that, an overall metric that shows like a good fit with with your your ad. So typically, when you provide this good user experience and at the same time promote your product uh, in a way that's that that's profitable, you should see lower CPM, higher relevant score and your cost, your CPA, your cost per ac uh, acquisition or your cost per purchase should also lower. Okay, so this this should go down. So in these days, it seems that um, I see so many have having trouble making their ads profitable, but it's following this outline is is how you can lower your cost per sale. So um, I think that's about that's about it. But what I I mean I've been this is something I've been doing for years and showing those in my in my um, in my coaching, and we've been doing this for a long time. What this also gives you is a is an ad that's easy to scale. So we want ads. With, we want to be able to create better ads, lower our cost, um, and have a lower cost, uh, uh, cost per purchase. And at the same time, when we do this right and have a good user experience, at the same time we promote our product, we also have an ad that's easy to scale. That means every, you know, any sort of method that you, you like to do for scaling, it lasts longer. And I've had ads run over two years of applying all these principles. Two years with, uh, with the same creative, um, and it makes it, uh, they last longer. When, when you provide the user experience, they don't die off as quickly. You, you'll go months, perhaps years, but it, not just a few weeks. So this is the formula for, for making these ads last and last and last. And allow you because you know we don't want to spend uh, you know every day trying to relaunch everything all over you know something dies and we relaunch it. We want things to last a long time. So by doing this, we provide a good user experience. At the same time, we promote our product, and then our costs go down. Our um, and our cost per per sale per acquisition goes down, and that is how. Even in these days, we keep our, uh, our ads profitable.